Committing suicide actually takes energy and planning. So this happens just above the lowest point, when they still have the energy to think clearly and execute it. Family members and close friends who were in contact with the individual before taking their own life have even reported them seeming happy and calm. This is because the suicidal person has finalized their plan and thinks they can finally escape the pain of this world. So those are some of the major signs that someone may be suicidal. But again, please keep in mind that single sign does not necessarily mean that person's gonna hurt themselves. In the comments below, please let us know what other signs you think we've missed. What do you think about suicide? Have you ever thought about killing yourself? How would you kill yourself? What do you think is the best way to commit suicide? Question or phrases like these may suggest that a person is considering it. They talk about it because they want your opinion. In a way, they're asking for advice on committing suicide while not openly admitting to it. This may also be a way they're screaming for help. It's an odd occurrence when someone gives away their expensive items. In their mind, where they're going, they don't need material things. Giving away their possessions to loved ones may be a way they think they're helping friends and family after their death. There are usually a number of triggering events that cause someone to write their will. These events can include marriage, having kids, being of older age, starting a business, or a close loved one dying. If a person seems to want to write a will out of the blue, try asking them why they have decided to write one. Of course, the mere act of obtaining a weapon doesn't mean someone is suicidal, but paired with the previous signs mentioned should serve as a warning. Those strange sleeping patterns are often seen in suicidal people. It isn't the sleep disorder that causes this. It is actually the stress or restless thoughts of personal problems that causes the person to have trouble sleeping at night. Because of that, the inability to sleep may be a clue that someone is suffering from depression or suicidal thoughts. Low energy levels are often seen in people with depression, which is sometimes coupled with suicidal thoughts. This low energy level happens as a result of lack of sleep and little motivation to do activities that would actually help them feel better. When people don't feel connected to anyone, they may turn to drugs and alcohol as a form of escape Another reason may be because they think these substances might give them enough willpower to commit suicide. Seen in depression as well, suicidal people find no interest in activities that they love anymore. Self-harm is one of the biggest signs that someone might be suicidal. Examples of this include cutting, burning, and poisoning oneself. In a sense, it's a way that suicidal people test the waters to see if they actually have what it takes to commit suicide. Former self-harmers often say that the physical pain helps them escape the emotional one. Studies have shown that suicidal people tend to take more risks. Look out for signs such as driving recklessly or picking fights.
The number one and most obvious sign that someone might be suicidal is that if they have attempted it in the past. This is called suicidal tendencies. One thing people don't understand about depression is that it's not easily cured by a pill. A sudden stop of medication may trigger a worse wave of depression that might lead to another suicide attempt. This sign is hard to spot because you might be under the impression that the person is doing better. A misconception about depression is that people commit suicide at their lowest point. What actually happens at this stage is that the person is unwilling to do anything. They are at such a low point that they are unwilling to eat, watch TV, or partake in their favorite activities. Their days are spent mostly in bed. Whatever your experience with suicide is, it's important for you to understand the signs of suicidal behavior. But please keep in mind that not every suicidal person will show these signs, and not every sign means that a person is suicidal. The point of this video is to make you understand these signs and work out whether the person needs a friend or professional help. Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back. This portion of the video is dedicated to Robbie. Suicide is some serious shit. It can happen to anyone, even your closest loved ones, and you may not have ever had any idea what was going on. Robbie is an RN and wants to share her personal story in the memory of her loving son, James Garrett Kulik. Robbie collaborated with her patient and wrote a poem wholeheartedly for James and for those who struggle with mental health. Robbie writes, James was funny, popular, handsome, and wise, anything anyone would have wished for. My relationship with James was so close, not only on a mother relationship, but also like best friends. On December 3rd, 2019, my own adolescent son took his life. Everyone, including his best friends, had no idea this was coming. There were no warning signs at all. This poem is for you and others who struggle with mental health. The poem is called, Be True to You. It has been said, to thine own self be true. To think a lot of others, you must think a lot of you. Self-harm can become an addiction. Who needs that with all the affliction this world already has to offer? Addiction can multiply to the point that you might even die. Not on purpose, just easing the pain. But just one time you could not refrain from going a little too far. Cutting doesn't just hurt your own skin, but your friends, your schoolmates, your kin. It hurts them to see you be cruel to someone they see as a jewel. When you think no one really cares, plus life keeps on throwing you scares, think of someone you care about who deserves love without a doubt. Then imagine them self-harm engaging from depression or sadness or raging. What would that do to your heart? Now with that answer in your mind, look in the mirror and you will find the same is true of you. Whether angry or feeling blue, get help when you need, for sure. Even though there's not always a cure, you can stop the dangerous behavior and become your personal savior. Robbie Kulik, RN. Upon collaborating with a teen patient on why self-harm is a bad idea,